Now we can calculate the time average power. P time average, so it's just a function of distance d. We have 1 over capital T, so that's omega over 2 pi, integrating from 0 to 2 pi over omega. The instantaneous power plus omega over 2 pi and integrate 0 to 2 pi over omega, the reflected instantaneous power. And we will call that P time average instant power plus the time average reflected power. And after you plug in the two expressions we have for the instantaneous and the reflected power, and we simplify, we'll get the following. Instantan the incident time average power is V naught plus squared over 2 Z naught, and that's in units of watts. And the reflected time average power is minus the voltage reflection coefficient squared V naught plus squared over 2 Z naught, which if you compare these two, you can see that the only difference is that this is multiplied by the reflection coefficient squared with a minus sign, P average incident. So we can plug this in right there, multiply by the reflection coefficient magnitude squared, and we get the reflected time average power. Now notice the ne negative sign here in the reflected power. The negative sign just gives us a direction. It tells us that the reflected power flows in towards the generator, so in the negative direction compared to the positive direction, which we take as the uh, towards the load. This means the amount of power delivered to the load, which I'll have a subscript superscript L, is we subtract the two. We would take time average the incident, time average power, minus the reflected time average power and we get incident time average power, 1 minus the reflection coefficient squared. And the power delivered to the antenna relative to the incident power is just this coefficient. So what is the value you get for our transmission line and the new antenna on the Millennium Falcon? How much of the power is delivered to the antenna?